Well, welcome, YouTubers. I had a bit of a snafu earlier this week, and that, or earlier today, and that I published a whole video. I went through a whole analysis, and it turns out I had a week 13 schedule up there. Just shows you where my head is today. It doesn't make a whole lot of difference because I still analyze the team. I just analyzed oh a week ahead, so I needed to recall, reanalyze the week. Um, so here's my picks for week 12, and I will caveat that I'm no longer uh, putting my own money on these picks. I don't know if that makes a difference. The picks are still legitimate or valid or whatever you want to call it, but they are what they are. But there's something to be said when I'm just going to disclose that I'm not putting my own money on it because I made over 33% ROI for the year and we'll diverge into that after I get rid of the picks. So my Martingale, or sorry, my multiple picks, um, 1,000x times picks. So Carolina is 1x or $1,000 and Philadelphia is 2x or $2,000 for a total of $3,000 out there at the beginning of the week, as you bet. The multiple scheme are the same two picks, Carolina and Philadelphia, for $2,000 apiece. So the fixed scheme, that's what I meant to say. So that's $4,000 out there in the fixed scheme. And my Martingales uh, vary quite a bit. There was a lot of pushes last week, which caused a lot of havoc and disruption. Nonetheless, a lot of 682s out this week. So Baltimore, 682. Carolina will be 970. Green Bay Packers, a 682. Jacksonville will be a 1364. L.A. Chargers will be a 682. New York Jets will be a 1364. Pittsburgh will be a 682. Philadelphia 2622. And Tampa Bay Bucks again 682 for a total of 9730 out this week. And we'll see how that goes. Um, lots of picks per se, but not a lot of money. But uh, so let's diverge. Let's go into week 11. Week 11, kind of an oddball week. As I already mentioned, there were a ton of pushes out there, including the epic Monday Nighter and whatnot. Nonetheless, on my multiple scheme, uh, is where I'll discuss the five or six picks I had. I think there's five, so or no six. Cincinnati, anyways, uh, ended up covering. Lost but covered. Good for me. That was a win, and that really helped on the, on the Martingale. I had a ton of money out there, 53.50. But on the multiple scheme, that was a 2x win. And Detroit also got a little bit lucky in that um, Carolina went for two instead of tying the game. Didn't tie, so they end up losing the game outright. Or Detroit won 20-19. Detroit was plus four. Now, if the game went to tie, I'd be hoping for a field goal in the closing moments or overtime as opposed to a touchdown. But as it was, Detroit won outright, so that was a nice win for 2x. Um... Jacksonville was also a 2x, and they were 16 to nothing at halftime. In fact, they were 16 to nothing with a minute left in the third quarter when Pittsburgh scored, and some uh, inexplicity, I guess maybe with the help of a lot of officials' calls uh, for holding that killed some drives. But mostly the Jacksonville team went flat, didn't score a damn point in the second half. Score some points, please. So I thought that was an easy win for most of the day until uh, Pittsburgh scored in the waning moments and won 20 to 16, and Jacksonville was plus four. So that ended up being a push, and that cost me uh, two, you know, a two x, or you know, I get my money back, but but uh, didn't cost me a win. I, in my eyes, I cost me a win, and the same thing. I had 3304 in the multiple scheme, so it could have been a huge day if Jacksonville had picked up there. But nonetheless, that was a push draw, nothing. L.A. Rams, of course, an epic Monday nighter against Kansas City Chiefs. They were down, up and then down and then up again. Anyways, they pushed. They were a three-point favorite and won and by one by three. So they pushed ATS. So I got nothing, nothing to do there. That would have been some nice bucks if they could have captured that too. But didn't Tampa Bay Bucks were way down, typical throwing turnovers over all the place. But then they switched the quarterback, come back and lose by three, which is what they were favored by got the three as a dog so that ended up pushing against i got three pushes in my five picks so effectively i was uh four and oh uh with cincinnati and detroit on my multiple scheme and i was two and oh in my fixed scheme anyways both of those were plus 36 36 for the week so i made a profit a nice profit but it just could have been a better profit and my martingales thanks to cincinnati mostly could have really come in great, but instead it was plus 58.84, so a nice big number in terms of profit, and that's going to push my ROIs up from where they were, 
Nonetheless, I was with that 4-0. I am now 16-7 and for the season on my multiple picks, if you count each $1,000 as a pick. And that is 69.5%. So that's where I'm quitting this year, by the way. So that's going to be a number. I was 11-6 and flat. That's mid-60s, 65%. Uh, I'll check my math, but uh, good numbers. That's what I normally like to pick, high end or whatever. Good to go. So those are a summary. Let me pull that out on ROI because that's what is important. Making money. All right. So I am here where this giant arrow is after week 11. And I, my Martingale is up over 50% ROI, and the two other systems, the fixed and the multiple, are in the high 30s, mid to high 30s. I am out at 37.72 playing the multiple. That's what I wanted to do. I had lost a little bit of money, like $5,000 times three last year. Uh, $5,000 per 20,000 bankroll. So $15,000 down, so I wanted to make that money back. And I said if I got 33%, on, I was going to go with 60000 a little borrowed cash, and and make that twenty grand back. That would be great and, you know, cover more than the losses of last year. Well, it's come to fruition. Even though I had money out there in week 11, it came to fruition, like I said, with the plus 58.54 in Martin. Yeah. For me, it was plus 36, plus 36, which gave me 75.44 plus positive for the year. That's 37.72%. Um, triple that for my particular bankroll, but that's per $20,000 bankroll, so scale up or down accordingly. So a nice chunk of change. Here's where I am. The Martingale is at 51.58. That's the high for the year. My multiple is 37.72% ROI. That's the high for the year, and my fixed is just a tick, 39.99 under that 40%. Their high actually was 43.62 earlier in the year, but everybody's on a positive trend. Like I said, my picks have, still have value. Um, just, you know, recognize I'm not playing them anymore. I'm not putting my cash down where they are. I still am making an effort. Um, mostly that's what it's about since you're not paying me directly. Uh, Apple. Apple is 185.86. Closed Monday. If I had bought 87 shares back in the day for 22.28, uh, 36, I would have lost. Uh, quite a bit of money. I think I'm down almost so 18.49% I've lost on Apple. Should you have made that investment as opposed to doing sports betting with your money this time of year, especially in the NFL where I am plus almost 40%, 37% or more. And you could have been out earlier on the fixed, right? So you could have been on this quicker. I took to week 11 and I'm kind of done. Like I said, this is, I'll bet heavy in the end like I normally do. Um, but I'm not betting any real money, so just uh, be aware that I'm out. That's what I keep reiterating. Um, good for me. If you followed me and you made your picks, then good for you. Um, I always fail to ask for donations. But if you'd like to contact me, go through the website. It's picks at greatdanepicks.com, and I'll get around to answering emails. Uh, and if you'd like to donate and you made money, that's great. And you followed me. Um, hopefully, if you came in late, maybe I'll continue to make money could lose it's always a gamble uh, i'm not going to go over my competitors this week i haven't looked at their videos but to be honest they were so far behind me that it doesn't make a bit of difference i'll keep looking for some other people again my mindset is all over the place i even got the week wrong this week i thought to myself while i was doing it i was like wow i thought that because the rams are playing the the detroit <laughs> and i thought that was a thursday night game i'm like how do they turn around from monday to thursday who's doing the scheduling i should have recognized that was the next week week 13 but anyways my picks are good for week 12 and uh, not many picks out this week on the regular schemes the martin gales got a bunch of low money so uh yeah sorry about that if you watched we're one of those 13 people that watched the earlier video you'll have to come back and watch this one which is the same message i still am out, I still am th plus 37%. Nice profit for me, over 20K. Uh, made up for that 15 I lost last year, plus some more. I'll go out and upgrade my boat or do something else with that cash or just get ready for the NBA season or uh, the MLB, which I'll do different. So i got a little time to think. I'm still doing some analysis. We'll follow the season. A lot of rambling, but uh, I'm very disappointed, but I'm happy as can be. All right? See you guys.